said what to go. Yeah, it's a great loss for the city of Hot Springs. It, it, it was a historical building, a lot of history there. Uh, we've been in it several times, and uh, just don't know what's going to happen from here forward. All right, I'm Officer Kaiser with the Hot Springs Police Department. Um, as of today, they're just working on uh, still taking down the building, make sure we can get it cleaned up in the safest possible way for uh, traffic to get through, keep it flowing, making sure that the residents of Hot Springs um, you know, just keeping us safe for the residents of Hot Springs in this area. It's Dawn Boutwell, and I stayed at the Majestic twice. One time was many years ago when I was in junior high school, and the last time was when my son was an infant. I brought him up here, and I loved the hotel. It was beautiful. I was just talking about how the uh, restaurant had beautiful chandeliers in it and just how pretty it was, and I loved to go to the baths because they had the, one of the best spas. You could go down there air and relax. And just one of my favorite places to go, and I'm very sad that it's gone. I'll miss it. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Michael Schwartz and I'm with uh, Abandoned Arkansas. We go through, we've been through the Majestic over 20 times now, since about the first time in 2012. Uh, it is just sad to see what's happened in this place. The, the first time we went in, it was very salvageable and there was lots of things that could be taken out, sold, and, or just refurbished into new things. As time went on, over the next couple months, it, they started disappearing, the floor started to rot, plants started growing inside, and just everything went to crap. It was very sad to see the process from one to the other what it is now and I'm very very sad that this fire had to occur to make this be demolished because this not only is historic to Hot Springs but just the people around They're like every not just Hot Springs but people in different states and even different cities here in Arkansas it means a lot to everybody and it's just sad to see such a historic site go to waste I mean Losing any kind of history is always devastating. And this was a hotel to thousands of people. And, you know, very famous figures. And it's, it was very powerful to walk through those halls knowing that you were standing where Babe Ruth once stood, or Al Capone, or, you know, Bugsy Malone, you know, all those, all those people, you know. And um, it's, it's just a fascinating feeling. And those are my thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Bill Hogan and uh, grew up in Fort Smith and later lived in Little Rock. And Majestic was was always a fun place to hang out, and spend a, a weekend or a night. Uh, made a trip in college from Oklahoma State with a bunch of pals, and we stayed at Majestic, an overnight stay on the way to New Orleans. And uh, it's really sad to see see it decline over the years, and then be closed and now burn. Um, wonderful place, lots of good memories for many many people. I'm Janice Ferguson and Heather Ferguson. We're from Hot Springs, Arkansas. We've been familiar with the uh, Majestic since we've lived here for 24 years. It's a sad time to see such a historical building um, that was so worthy of Hot Springs to be um, at this point uh, demo demolished. My name is Al Sargent and I used to go in the Majestic a couple times a week to deliver the mail. <laughs> temporary carrier back in the 60s and uh, I know the part that burned down was the oldest part of it. It's a tragedy because buildings that age just don't seem to, there doesn't seem to be so many of them around anymore. So it's just, it's a shame and I wish that it had now. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Vicki Cook. I've lived in Hot Springs, Arkansas since 1973. I've enjoyed many events at the Majestic, including when they have the bar uh, meetings, the Arkansas Bar Association, Judicial Council. I have um, enjoyed the restaurant, Big Dutch Treat, when we moved here in 73. That's the first place we ate, blue and white tablecloths, and it was very nice. I feel very sad and very nostalgic about such a wonderful historical gem being gone. Um, I was talking to a friend, just because we've had these experiences, you have to multiply that by tens of thousands of people who attended uh, wedding receptions, uh, professional meetings, uh, had meaningful first dinners in Hot Springs like we did at the Dutch Treat in 1973. Um, it's just, it's sad, so, you know. We hope something will be built on its place that people can enjoy in downtown Hot Springs. 
we live downtown too. Yeah, we live close to that. Everybody, lift your hands up. All right, wonderful. Hot Springs Daily, number, number one, one news. <laughs>